everyone, thanks for watching this Cloud9 ERP Solutions video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to talk about some new features in the CRM area of Acumatica, specific to Acumatica 2022 R1. So this is a new generic inquiry screen that Acumatica has created for events. It is filtered by the employee up here. If we go to all records, you can see everything. And there's some new features here as we create a new event. So let's get started. We'll click our plus button here and we'll call this maybe a dinner meeting. And you can see the location field here. There's a time zone now that you can select to show the time zone specific to the start and end time. You have an option here for all day. So that'll give you the ability to do a date range, similar to Outlook. But I'm going to have this appointment on 12-2. And I'm going to select a time. This is dinner, so I'll select 7.30 to maybe 8.30. And under Show As, notice Acumatica is giving us indicator, status indicating fields that shows that during this time we're going to be busy or out of office. We have that. And then under Reminder, it used to be that you'd have to select a specific date and time, but now Acumatica gives you the ability to select a time interval prior to the start time. So if I select an hour here, then I'm going to get 6.30, I'm going to get a reminder. Now the other thing is, is under Attendees, Acumatica used to limit the attendees that you could put here to Acumatica employees, but now if we do a lookup, you could see Acumatica can include leads, contacts, and just about every other entity in Acumatica. So for example, if I'm having my meeting with Abel West, I could select Abel West and Abel will show up here. But additionally, I could select an employee and as I save this, Notice Acumatica prompts me that there are attendees that have not been sent invitations. So this allows us, when we click confirm, it allows us to send out these invites. You can see them here. Now, of course, Abel West will get this email and it should show up as an invite that Abel can accept or decline. But if we take a look at the way Acumatica sees this, we log in as Layla, for example. So we'll go to user. And we'll find Layla. I don't know her credentials. And we'll log in as her. And if we go to events, once again, we're in an inquiry screen that shows the employee defaulted. That's me, the employee Layla, defaulted here. So it's filtering by this employee. Now, now, Acumatica will only allow you to select employees that you're part of the company tree. So wherever you are in the company tree, you could see people below you in the tree. But nonetheless, I can see this dinner meeting. Earlier, I accepted the lunch meeting, but I'm going to tag along to this dinner meeting. And I can open this up and accept it. We'll click on it. And I can see the accept and decline buttons here. But additionally, we also now have a side panel that Acumatica has put here. So if we click on it, this allows us to see a profile of the event right alongside the right side. So as I select different profiles, you can see them change. And then right from here, I can click accept. And now I don't have to open up that event specifically. Now, if I refresh here, you'll get to see that this is accepted. I'm going to log back out. Log back in again. And I'm going to go back to events. And if we open up this dinner meeting and I go to attendees, you can see that Layla is accepted. We're still waiting for Able to accept. Now, additionally, Acumatica supports categories. So different categories are selected here. We could select red here. And as we save and close, Acumatica will 
color code this in the inquiry screen. So that's nice. Now, additionally, all of this event, the event profile and the inquiry screens, you will see them updated in the mobile app. So all the changes we showed with regards to start and end time, all date, the show busy, the number of minutes before the appointment, all of this is updated in the mobile app. Now, additionally, and in the spirit of that side panel, if I go to my emails, for example, email outgoing, one of the things you can see now is Acumatica has the side panel that allows you to preview your emails as you're moving through them. So you have a nice email viewer that you can use here. Now we haven't tried this yet, but I suspect it's possible to put this email viewer anywhere in Acumatica as a side panel, but we'll have to test that and we'll get back to you. Additionally, if we go to our support system, we go to case classes. Acumatica has now added the ability to allow selecting employees as a case contact. Many times you may have internal cases that you need solved or completed in your company. And by allowing an employee as a case contact, it eliminates the requirement of creating a company, in this case, Revision 2 products, and adding all the contacts from your employees. So for example, we do that currently we add employees to Cloud9 ERP solutions, and then anytime we have an internal case that we need solving, we simply select that contact of the customer instead of selecting the employee. So now if we go into a support case, create a new one, we'll switch to our case class. So it looks similar, but it's this one, product support. And we'll leave the business account out, but we'll select a contact. So now over here, you can see all the employees within. If I move this type over, you notice that contacts and employees are selected accordingly. So if I press Shift F, it's a shortcut key, I can see all my employees specifically. Now, of course, you can create a filter here and simply say, I want to see employees. So the type equals employee, save it and make employees out of it, maybe share it with others, apply it, and now you can see employees here or all records, all records being any contact. So Acumatica, in case it's not clear, Acumatica does allow you to create cases where the business account can be empty. That's part of the case class, and the case class gives you that option. So that's it. That's a little bit about CRM. Keep in mind, this is a preview version of Acumatica 2022 R1. So there may be some more functionality that comes out in the CRM section. There's certainly going to be many more videos with regards to 2022 R1. But uh, we appreciate you checking in with us and watching our videos and subscribing to our YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.